We woke up pretty excited. There's no expectations for this trip. It's such a beautiful area out here, so much history. Lots of great sheep hunters have spent some time out here. I tried to settle myself in. It was a pretty, pretty deep shot. My name's Randy Smashnick. I'm uh, born and raised in Grand Prairie. Uh, I currently am a manager at a Cal Tire. Got introduced to hunting 2016. Harvested a couple elk and some moose, some bear, deer, deer, and this was this was the next step in in the hunting journey for me. So yeah, I'm Cody Morgan. Grew up just outside of Grand Prairie on an elk farm, actually. Um, been hunting and in the outdoors pretty much my whole life started hunting as a kid with my dad and grandpa and stuff so it's always been kind of part of my lifestyle I guess mm -hmm. it's about my story and I'm Will Vossler a uh, heavy equipment technician from Grand Prix Alberta with these boys <laughs> uh, went to high school with these guys PD Randy Cody just got into hunting few years ago spent lots of years in the backcountry and stuff and yeah it's uh been a pretty exciting journey and this is just uh just that real big step Me and Randy came out, I don't know, a few months ago and seen some sheep and stuff. So we kind of got talking and no better place to come out and spend six days with the boys and do our first, yeah, get our first sheep hunt in. First sheep hunt. So. It's hard to not think of anything but like, holy shit. It's just such a beautiful place. Well, I knew what we were in for because I've been here. So it's a little bit different for Cody who hasn't been here yet. It was a long hike in, but it was pretty easy to stay motivated when you can hear elk bugling and cows chirping and spotting sheep pretty early in the hike yeah it's hard to make it anywhere right because you want to glass everything you want to glass everything and everything you glass there's lambs and ewes so yeah you don't want to pass anything up and walk right by the sheep but yeah the game plan is to get farther in and get into some back bowls and yeah, yeah. try and find a legal ram so yeah we did about 
just under 15 clicks with the packs loaded yesterday. 65 to 70 pounds each pack. It was a grind. After that 10K mark, you start to feel it on your, your feet. And by the time we hit 15, I knew it was time to, to stop. To set up. <laughs> Pretty dewy sleep last night. Woke up and the sleeping bag was wet on the outside. So. Well, we were fogged right in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, full fog. Yeah, so we but woke it, up this morning trying to do some glass in. Yeah. At first light, and you couldn't even see the other TP beside us. So glass just about every direction out of here. Yeah, seen sheep in three different spots right out of here. So now we're gonna head up into the the back bowls. Yeah. Kind of heading up behind us here, over this saddle. Gonna we, go put some kilometers in, get way back there. Yeah. Hope to find some sheep at the back end here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Game plan is just stay up high and just keep moving and keep our eyes open yeah lots of clicks yesterday constant elevation but no major elevation so yeah today the goal is get back in that meadow and get on the back side of it and start yeah. looking for some bulls and find some some bands and some rams hanging out together yeah Heck yeah buddy get up where the boys are try and find something legal to take a poke at so about 20 more sheep today Oh yeah, easy. This yeah. morning? Yeah, 20, yeah. 20 yeah. sheep or so this morning. So I think yeah. it's a, probably a total of around, probably pushing 40. Yeah. 40 lambs and ewes together, barely above the timber line, not too high up, so. Hiding from the sun, you know, a nice day like this, they might be shading out a bit more. So yeah. really gonna have to pick the mountain apart today. Yeah, no wind either. So it's gonna just be a nice calm day. Yeah. How much uh, elevation are we expecting to climb? Oh, oh, probably, probably a few. couple thousand feet. Yeah, we're probably gonna go up a few thousand today. You guys ready to see a legal one today? Oh uh, yeah. We're just ready so. to lay some eyes on some rams. Yeah. Even if it just this trip, I don't even care when. Just once this trip will be good. Yeah, yeah. legal or not, there's no expectations for this trip. Oh, no. first year, lots mm -hmm. to learn. Come over here. Mm -hmm. It'll be a huge fucking journey. Go check this out for a day, then yeah, and come then back. Yeah, around the back. There'll be water back there. Yeah, there's a creek down there. Okay, well, let's go check this valley floor and then just kind of keep... I think... Like, we have enough water on us to get us somewhere. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah. I can't see them keeping horses there without water being close. No. Last leg. Water tonight. Yeah. You take what you can find, buddy. Little fucking spring on the top of a mountain. We fill up some cooking water. Hell yeah, buddy. Filtered through a carbon filter. Yeah. And Rand's getting us heat right now. Look at where we are on the saddle in between these two massive mountain ranges.
Yeah, so we just set up camp. We got up there pretty late in the afternoon. Yeah, we were glassing late the bowls. Evening. Glassing the bowls right beside camp, making sure there was no rams in there. Probably had a group of 40 lambs and ewes run by. Came about 40 yards from camp. Yeah, I ran right through camp. Right. Cody kind of mentioned that we should probably pop over that bowl, maybe where it looked like it came from. Yes, we popped over to the ridge line. Cody popped over first, seen a ram right away. His ass is toward this right now. He's eating. It'd be sweet if we could see his left side too. She eats back for us maybe. Mm -hmm. What time is it? How much she might do? It? You're probably an hour. Here's the picture though. I don't know, he's pretty close, man. Holy fuck, man. See him going up the hill? Okay, we gotta put him to bed. But we gotta watch him all night. Yeah. Holy fuck, I think he's legal, boys. Then we'll get. It's damn close. I think that's legal. I want to hope he's legal, but that that view looked legal, man. That's two views now. Oh boy! <laughs> Holy fuck, boys! This is brutal. Fucking. At least we finally seen a ram, boys. Hey? Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, boys. <sighs> Ooh, some hard. He's legal. He's legal, boys. He's fucking legal, man. That is totally legal right there. <laughs> He's legal. 100%. But it has to be in front of his eye to the base. That's it in is. front of his eye. 100%. Base like straight down, I you think can put he a card on that. I don't think we can give up on him. No, I think we, no, we can't. Because the base starts right in front of the eye, pretty much, right? He's legal. I'm telling you. I think Grant's right. Calling it. That's He's fucking, fucking legal, legal right there. Man. 100%. That's right at the eye. 100%. That's just a squeaker if he is. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's squeaking, but he's legal, I'm saying. 987 yards right now. How far do you think that ridge line is? So we would have to hit him from the ridge, like up there. Shooting down, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, right there. Oh, he's 100% oh, legal. Boys. He's legal. That's a fucking legal ram right yeah, there. I think so. Probably. You can't guarantee that though, because they're dusted yeah. off a bit. But still, even seeing that right there, I can see his eye. Like, it's past his eye. Oh, like, 100%. I don't even know what to think right now. I think that might be illegal, young boys. <laughs> I think so too, buddy. <laughs>
Can I put my cat on there for a I bit? can't even, I don't even want to go back to sleep. If this goes down, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> You're taking free shot. The bottom of the other side by tomorrow? Yeah. That'd be a fucking grind. But it's all downhill though, so it's not too bad. This is uphill. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> and you'll, be so, it. you'll be and so pumped at that point. Oh, yeah. like, and eating back straps and tendies. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> This is Look at this view though. He's better down again. Is he? Yeah, I think he was just looking for a better spot. Look at the sky too. Oh man. What a night. What a day. Sun shining all day. Quick little fucking creek bath. And then another six click push up the mountain. All worth it now, boys. Dude, what kind of... Like out at 10, what kind of high is it going to be if you fucking drop that thing? 4,000. Oh, buddy, I'm, never, I'm not going to ever have a hunting high like this, probably. No, it's going to just be unreal. Like I've shot moose and deer and all, but I've never had to put work in like this. Hopefully the morning brings nothing but happiness. Yeah. That's going to be a fucking party. Mm. Where's he at? I think you hit him. 
Go ahead. I think you hit him. Did I? Yeah. I gotta get one. Ready? Ready? Got him. The fucking rates, buddy. Got him. Down. <laughs> what the fuck, man? That is so crazy. How'd that fucking feel, buddy? Buddy, ram down. Now it's game on. <laughs> <laughs> game on, yeah. It's a huge hike. Okay, now it's game on, yeah. Fuck, we were scrambling. Yeah. We're like, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? I'm waiting a lifetime for this one. Yeah. Just, even laying in bed last night, I was just thinking of fucking 
Like when I used to go to my grandparents in Rocky. Yeah. My grandpa's reloading room and had just pictures of sheep. Yeah. Just what I dreamt of. Heavy, Brian. Oh, legs. Yeah. I'm puffing. Big girl Rosie ain't doing too hot, huh? A lot of weight on there. Should have left her ass in Fox Creek. She'd be better off. This is what we're dealing with. Almost at the skyline. camp was Went all the way up this mountain How much, how much weight you got on your back there, Will? Probably about 120 pounds, I'd say, 110 pounds. She's loaded. Holy fuck. <laughs> I'd say I'm probably 90, 95 yeah. or so. Yeah. Hey, Petey, get going. You're gonna be the best. Start walking, boys. I got two cans of bear mace on me, so I don't know what the fuck to say for a toast, but thanks, guys, for yeah. coming out here and putting on these fucking miles with me to get it ram down. Yeah. No better group of guys I'd rather do it with. That's yeah. for sure. Congrats, yeah, boys. Yeah. Thanks, for Petey, for joining along. And yeah. It was a little trip of a lifetime. That. Yeah, exactly. You tried to scare me away, but you weren't successful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheers, boys. That was a fucking hell of a trip. Cut up some steaks for the boys. <clears throat> Looking good there, Chef Will. Wow.
we were going to do what we wanted to do and we had a game plan and that's what we stuck to and it paid off. Paid off big boys. Oh yeah. yeah. Few days in the backcountry, especially at this far back, you you get, you get to know each other and yeah. respect you each other. Off with the boys, you kind of grow a, grow a different bond, you know. Yeah. Just yeah. a lifelong memory, man. Like not many people go out their first sheep hunt thinking, even just thinking they're gonna bring home a ram. Like you just you you know you got so much to learn and but a little bit more effort in and man, what a memory this will be for all of us. We planned a six-day hunt, get in as far as we possibly could, yeah. do whatever it takes to find some rams. It's pretty cool that uh, hunting brings us together, right? Um, I know knowing these guys in high school, I didn't think I'd ever be doing this with them. and. Yeah. And to bring four different friend groups together on a common goal of getting a ram, it's pretty, pretty cool. And it's, it's so nice to be out here and away from society and, you know, you leave your phone behind and you leave work behind and, and this is, this is what you came here to do was, was to kill a ram. So 